Nope, with the chicken, so... Rebread each task, huh? To just do the rat. They weren't lying, Melly. I I told you I I know what I saw. Would you tell these two, Melissa? Well, maybe it's best we don't annoy her. At least you shush it, Rose Marine. I want you and your cousin play kiss the rat with us, Lise. Fine. You can play with you, I suppose. Oh, game. You stay close to me, Rosamarine. I'll go call... Groon. Gross, I don't want the sneaky rat anywhere near me. You gotta hit right time. What? Jeez. And. It's kind of rough. Right for the left. Oh, that's why it gets faster. Good, I'm not gonna get one that time. Yeah. are terrible at this. Oh, shush it up, pal. I still want you to have this, at least. Didn't have to, Jacob. We lost, after all. You shush it, Wars Marine. It's best you head on home now, Rosemarine. Folks have had enough of you for one day. <laughs> oh, it was so much fun, Elise. If you say so. I'll see you at home, then.
We got. You. It's you. <laughs> hey, it's pretzel time, Elise. Oh, spare me, Maggie. I waited all day, Elise. You p promised me a pretzel. Promised you no such thing. I'm, I'm telling Father Hands then. Just you wait. Good luck with that, Mindy. I've already introduced her to everyone myself. Oh, my poor bigger cousin, Rosemary. They fell right for it, every single one of them. She, she's not your cousin? It? Gully, at least. Even I fell for it. No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. What I meant was... I'd, I'd best go let all of the folks know, huh? Oh, if only you'd give me a pretzel. Just keep your wretched mouth shut, Mindy, or else. Dare tell us all about any of this, and you're good as dead. That's what I thought. Oh, and it's fresh, too. You're so generous, Elise. Are we clear, Murphy? As long as you give me some grape juice tomorrow. I can drown you in it. Got it. Eek! I'd best make certain I keep some aside for her tomorrow. Okay, how much is grape juice, though? A summer child would do you no good, anyhow. And you, Elise? What about me, Mrs. Brunhild? Well, the whole brought her to Kieferberg in the summer, I believe. She told me I was born a few weeks ago. She told me I was born a few weeks after the summer solstice. How are you to know when you were born? Granny Hull ought to have known, Miss Lorelei. You were adopted, to be fair, but... Oh, but weren't you brought here as a baby? She was, so I suppose old Hole couldn't have been wrong. I can't say it's very polite of you to be discussing such things. I'm sorry, Elise. I was asking them about the townsfolk. With my baby coming and everything. My, you always take everything so seriously, Elise. Oh, that windstorm was a dreadful thing. I see we're still blabbering on about that windstorm. Tell me about it, Elise. You two ought to take this very seriously. Well, Stefan warned us. On his deathbed, no less. That's why we can't trust his word, old Dogton. Well, Stefan passed too early, that's what. What was it he said that was so important, anyhow? Nonsense, Elise, that's what. You foolish folks will never learn. It's only natural you don't know, Elise. You were young. Old Safun warned us of the arrival of the witch, no less. That Kieferberg would undergo many trials that we would all. Well, for goodness sake, you're starting to sound like Elise, Marlin. So that's supposed to mean you. Best we walk away, lass. These old folks will never learn. Oh, it's you, Elise, was it? Eh, how much is grape juice? Ten? Ugh. Ah, that's 50, though. I won't be able to buy food. Nope. Goodbye. See who's down by the water well, if there's anybody.
You can't be stringing yourself like that, Muriel. Is everything all right? Oh, Merchant Shield's making too much of it, Elise. It's an awful lot of work, Muriel. And you're not as young as you used to be. Oh, but what would I do with my time if not lending a hand for the festival? I'm slower than I was in my youth, but I can still be of help. You could always share some of the workload, Miss Freya, Miss Muriel. I couldn't even lend a finger, not with this tremor of mine. Oh, we aren't what we used to be, are we, Merch Child? That we're not, old lass. I wonder if this does anything to scare birds off. An old shirt and a straw hat rest mounted on flimsy wood structure. Ah, I looked at that already. Ah, oh, no, that was just empty. Anybody around? Doesn't look like it. Anything interesting up here? No. Wait, anything hiding over here? I wonder if that is a piece of fence or actual entrance to something. I'll probably find that later. Aha. Uh -huh. Miss Muriel, you say? Ah, oh, Elise! What is it about Miss Muriel? Oh, I wouldn't know if Mr. Tristan... You see, lass, this isn't meant to be public knowledge, but... Jacob wants to wear an apron for the festival. An apron? I've given it some proper thought with Freya here. I was thinking, why not a cape instead? Oh, he'd be jumping for joy. It's the embroidery Jacob likes, you see. I can lend you a hand with it, Mr. Tristan. Don't work yourself into the ground, lass. You've already said you dress the maypole and look after Wilma's Inn. I'll see what I can do, but I can make him one even after the festival. Where's your cousin headed home already? She's had her fill of Kieferberg for one day, is all. A heaven sent, Elise, that's what she is. It's not every day you discover a cousin, is it? I must say, I'm glad you're no longer on your own, lass. Ah, I suppose you're right, Mr. Finn. Of course he's right, Elise. Family is what's most important. Always full of cheer, aren't you? That's what logging does to you. Working with Gustav's what keeps us in good spirits, I'd say. The lad has more cheer than all of Kieferberg and Primuldorf combined. You must run the family, wouldn't you say? Freya could very likely run the festival all by herself, don't you agree? Logging included, no doubt. I'd wager she could carry an entire cart of logs all the way to Kieferberg. Is she a horse?
On your way home, Elise? Not yet, Miss Linda. Hey, have you got any cheese or milk from Elizabeth? No, I haven't. Her goats have fallen ill, you see. She stopped by earlier to take back the cheese I got from her. But it's best we don't eat it. I see. Lord knows what's wrong with her goats. Oh, I wouldn't forgive myself if my boys fell ill. I'm certain Miss Elizabeth didn't mean any harm, Miss Linda. Of course not, Elise. What a thing to say. These things happen, but... You see... No, I don't think I do, Miss Linda. I often wonder. Elizabeth's husband was still with us. Miss Linda? Oh, I know, I know. Let's pretend I didn't say that, Elise. That's a good problem to have, lad. Is everything all right, Mr. Gustav? Eugene here will have his hands tied with his business all week. It's a matter of when we're going to do it, truth be told. The horses will need some rest, that's for certain. For all we know, we might have to pull those carts ourselves. I best make certain I keep busy tomorrow, then. You need to feed up on a lot more pig roast before you be carrying even a single log, Elise. He's right, Elise. You have to make sure you're keeping yourself healthy. I'm stronger than I look, Mr. Eugene. Old age doesn't wait for anybody, Elise. Eat plenty, and don't work yourself into the ground, you hear? I have sworn your cousin was meant to be helping, Elise. She's passing time till I need her, Mr. Ludwig. We're bracing ourselves to go on patrol, lass. Make sure you're home before then, you hear? We'll have each other on their way up to the peaks from now on, lads. Truly, there's no need to worry, Mr. Bernhard. I'm glad that's the case, Elise. We must look after each other. Of course, Mr. Ludwig. No, can't say I'm looking forward to going on patrol every night. Every night? Folks need some peace of mind, lass. Ah, I see. Some food. Hold on. How many... Whoa. You know, they cost one. Ah, that's a max, max stack of 45. Okay. Alright, got some food. Um... Alright. See what else pops up? Anything in the forest? And way too much time in that cave. Anything new? I think it's going to be up there. Can't go out of the... Can't go to the next town yet.
somebody up here. Uh, door still blocked. Yeah, save there instead, just in case that money I didn't get bad. Ah, flock could be out there. Oh wait, he went to the, uh, head, I think. Eh, he's not in there. I ought to keep my mouth shut about this whole ordeal. I can't imagine what would happen if those folks caught wind of this. Kieferberg's rooftops decorate the rolling hills far off in the distance. Ah. Ooh. Hey, it's a unicorn. There she is. <laughs> That's best not take too long, Rosemary, and I have work to do. I can't be away for long after that whole ordeal. Ah, oh, I promise it'll be quick, Elise. Come now, let me show you the attic. You settled in, huh? Of course, this is my new home after all. Getting a bit ahead of ourselves here, isn't she? Sleeping under a roof took some getting used to. I've been sleeping under the stairs since I was a little easy. You did say you're a traveler. Uh, yes. Ah yes, I used to travel about with my granny while she was still in good health. Where's she now, Rose Marine? <laughs> Come now, sit. Show me your hand, Elise. Rose Marine, wait. Ah, I see. You can't possibly be reading my palm. Hey, put it, Elise, I'm trying to make sense of it. I don't believe in any of this nonsense, Rosemarine. As I thought, your lines are very telling of who you are. Who am I, then? Obstinate, ambitious. There's a certain intuition within you that's yet to be awakened. What's that supposed to mean? Ah, both your fortune and your fate are very distinct, too. You're destined to be something great, aren't you, Elise? Destined for something great, you say? You're also stubborn, very set in your ways and your ambitions. Look, Rosemarine, I don't know what you're withering on about, but... I truly don't believe in any of this nonsense, alright? Ah, but before you go, Elise, I have something for you. For truly... What is it? Here, I want you to have this. What, what in the Lord's name is this thing? I told you before how I've seen you in my dreams, and I... I made this bracelet just for you, knowing I'd find you. 
was Marine. I... For my soulmate, at least, I finally realized it. We hardly know each other, Rosemarine. I've known you for a long time, in truth. Is this about what you said yesterday? It would mean a great deal to me if you kept the lease. I will. You didn't make it for me, after all. Even so, Rosemarine, I... I know you don't believe any of this, Elise, but... I think you will, in time. I find myself believing it already, somehow. Besides, you being my soulmate doesn't mean I am yours anyhow. Huh? Things are just starting to change for you, Elise. In more ways than one, I'm certain you've noticed. I suppose. It's true, first Marzarine turned up, then I found these shoes, and... There's that old hag I met this morning, too. Given that strange dream I had, I wonder if that's also... Hey, Elise. Huh? Won't you join me for a stroll tomorrow morning? Out at the crossroads, there's something I'd like to show you. Alright, alright. Come now, I ought to head back before the townsfolk lose their wits. I still get free food. The bakery. Another girl with a wish. Doesn't everyone have a wish or two? Not all that meet him do. It was once what you'd call a good company, despite these red shoes. The object of her affections, I suppose. What are you talking about? I was forsaken in his den by the one I loved. However you bring to keep him company. Bear in mind, this will be their fate. A good company. Yeah. And we are at the crossroads, huh? At night? The people are going to be on patrol, though, I think. Oh no, that's going to be next time. <laughs> 